Hey, what's going on guys? Josh here from Momentum Productions. And a few days ago, I released a review video on a slider from a company called Ashanks. And I used the vertigo slash dolly zoom effect to feature the product. And in today's video, I wanted to show you how I executed that shot, some helpful tips and tricks, and some of the equipment that you must get in order to perform this type of shot. Now I made a few tutorials on how to do this effect when using a gimbal, but when you use a slider and perform this effect, you get much much more accurate results and the lesser amount of slow motion we can use, we can actually use up to real time in most of our sliding shots. That's a lot more difficult to do when using a gimbal. Now, I'm not saying that you have to go out and buy the Ash Shanks slider, but buy something similar, something that has carbon fiber, something that has high quality gliders and bearings, and the must have is the flywheel. This flywheel is what's gonna allow us to get the smoothest motions possible. Now that we have the slider covered, make sure that you have a zoom lens. I prefer going for the Zeiss or Canon L series glass zoom lenses. Why? Because they have the softest and smoothest zoom rings, and that's what you want. You can't pull this off on a cheaper lens because then your zoom is just gonna be stuck in random areas. And the whole point is to get a smooth motion here during this effect. Now the dolly zoom or the vertigo effect is basically an optical illusion where the operator moves in and the lens zooms out. So basically when we zoom in on the lens, we're pushing back on the slider. When we're pushing in with the slider, we're zooming out on the lens. Now something else I want you to focus on are these little support rods here for your slider. If you're using a slider that's at least two feet long, you definitely need these support rods that clamp onto your tripod. I had a few questions about this on my Instagram and I'll leave a link to where you can get these little rods here in the description box below, so make sure you check it out. These rods will support the slider from tipping forward or backward or leaning. So this is definitely a must have. Now, if you're new to specific equipment, make sure that you know how it works perfectly. So when you're practicing this type of shot, it's important to get used to the equipment that you're using. So before you actually perform the shot, it's important to just practice around with your equipment. So get used to the slider, get used to how it performs, and then just try and get used to your lens, especially if you're new to it. All right, so just do a few practicing motions here. And once you feel pretty confident with your equipment, we can perform the shot. So I'm gonna start right here at the front. I'm gonna zoom completely out. And then I'm gonna place one hand on the carriage right here, one hand under the lens, and I'm gonna slowly pull back and zoom in. You don't have to be too quick with your movements here. We're not on a gimbal, so your shots on a slider are gonna come out much more accurate, so our motions don't have to be nearly as fast. So now let's zoom out and push in. Just like that. A little bit of pressure on the carriage is important. It keeps everything nice and stable. And one hand under the lens is a great way to control your zoom. Remember, you want to have a very smooth zoom ring. Otherwise, this effect won't work. It's also important to keep your zoom at the same consistent speed as you're pushed in with the slider, just so we can avoid a lot of the jerky motions. Boom! Did I get your attention? Anyway, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you, but make sure that I see you in the next video. Peace!